Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. But there's a breakthrough getting ready to happen in your life here, whether you know it or not. But just make sure you guys are being disciplined, okay? Focus. Don't allow distractions to, uh, or impulses or lack of self-control to, to, to get you or detour you or um, distract you from something here. Make sure you're making level-headed decisions and choices, you guys, because it looks like, I don't know if you guys are like about to be tested in some form of way. For some of you all, you may feel like you're currently being tested or this could have already just recently happened, but I really feel like you're getting ready to have a breakthrough. So if there is some form of test or decision or choice or something where you need to it's like display your form of like self-control or overcome some form of impulse it's like it's giving me like okay say the ex calls you hey big head or text you right y'all know that hey big head text <laughs> don't answer it you already know what it is have some form of discipline and i'm not saying that's what this is coming towards you but i'm just i'm just using that as an example for how you can display self-control because it looks like there's some progress happening in your life um but you 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 are getting ready to feel liberated and free there's some form of unexpected message i'm telling you or something shocking get, getting ready to happen or some sort of faded event getting ready to happen in your life okay don't be shocked when it comes towards you just come back and in, in, in the comments and let me know because i feel like you guys have been progressing and it's been a little bit challenging it's been a little bit difficult for some of you all you've been feeling a little bit unfulfilled here lately it, but spirit is saying expect some form of a strong shift that's getting ready to happen some like something is getting ready to align and happen again this could be a faded meeting with a stranger this could be something shocking some shocking new development when it comes to love but I, i'm also getting Again, there's still an energy of someone else around you who just like tries you. Don't pull your finger out, especially if you're a Scorpio. Don't do not allow this person to take you out of your character. Do not allow this situation to take you out of your character, you guys, okay? Just hang in there like that cat, okay? <laughs> what else can the um collective expect here, please? Learning. Mm-hmm. You guys are about to learn. You're being led down a path to relearn certain things, make different decisions. Um, you're navigating towards like something unfamiliar here or you're getting ready to navigate down uncharted territory, okay? So this is like giving something you've never done before. This is giving like, um, the spirit is saying like trade knowing everything all the time for just being curious. Just be curious about it and learn more. Be willing to learn more. And there will be some form of progress here for you, especially with this progress card and breakthrough. And then we have discipline. So make sure you guys are staying disciplined, okay? Please. Please, please, please. I want I want you guys to be in alignment. Spirit wants you to be in alignment. All right. Because you deserve it. Whoa. The Empress energy just came out. Look at that. And it flew out too. I'm telling you the past. Look, look, look. Hold on. I, okay. Which one do I want to talk about first? Okay, I'm going to talk about this first. You guys are getting ready to connect with a new group of people who are like, this could be new friends, right? Um, this could be a new group of people or new connections in your life that are going to be good, positive connections. They're, it's like these people are your soul companions. Maybe they're your soul tribe or your soul family or whatever. These are so, true soul connections getting ready to come in for you that are built on trust and loving um, supportive connections okay so you're getting ready to discover that but i feel like there's some you unlocking some form of you're just getting ready to step in i feel like in a time of being emotionally unfulfilled and you're about to be in emotional alignment and emotional fulfillment is what is happening here so just continue to push through this breakthrough if you're almost there you're almost there because this empress in the past energy came out again right and remember i was telling you all before this past energy came out somebody else is going to be trying you or testing you this card the past literally says a situation or someone from the past will return either to finish unfinished business or give you closure you will have to decide if it's worth revisiting or leaving it in the past leave that thing in the past 
Don't respond to that big head text message. Please don't. I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. It's almost like, you know, you're unlocking like the inner magician here. And this energy has kind of been coming up for a while. This Empress energy has been like popping, like coming out very strong and very heavy here. So, yep, look at this, all tied up. What are you feeling all tied up about here? What are you attached to? You don't have to be in your own head here. You can free yourself from, from being in this Eight of Swords energy here. What else for the collective? You're just going through a learning process. That's all this is, okay? That's all this is. Cornucopia told you, 1111 energy. So if you're feeling like tied down or you're feeling unfulfilled lately or something, you're going through some form of a very strong shift. And I feel like that's about to shake things up. So this cornucopia energy is about to come in and shake things up for you. Mm -hmm. Woman holding the heart at the bottom of the deck. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, you could be a Ge uh, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. You don't have to be. And then the cornucopia energy for me is towards Virgo Capricorn. Yep, look at that. I'm telling you, for some of you all, look at this. This is that unexpected development. Shocking love, I feel like, because it's coming in, right? Man holding a coin. This person might be coming in towards you. I'm going to clarify the man holding the coin to make sure this is not somebody from the past that you've ended something with. I don't sense that. I feel like this man holding a coin is somebody new. The magician, Gemini energy. I told you, you guys are like in this, unlocking this power, this magician energy and stepping into this empress energy or emperor energy. Doesn't matter here. You're about to be emotionally fulfilled. Okay. So trust your intuition and the guidance that you are receiving i feel like you guys are just getting a newfound confidence here it's like you, you know how you unlock a new level on a game you know like if you're playing mario brothers or whatever and you unlock like this new power like this is you unlocking a new level with a new power yup why is the man holding a coin here for the collective mm -hmm. Thinking woman, okay. Why is the man, this person could be a Virgo. Why is the man holding a coin here? The goddess of the moon. Trust your intuition, you guys. Strong energy of trusting your discernment, your wisdom, and your intuition here. A little bit of fear. A little bit of fear is here. Yeah, trust your intuition. Look at that. Trust your intuition, you guys. Don't be afraid of this man holding a coin. Don't overthink something here, whatever this is. Show me more about this energy. Man holding a coin. Here's the woman holding a coin. So whoever this is, this is your person. I just heard this is like your rib, your second half, because the forty. this is the number 42 here. And the man holding the coin is the number 43. There would be no, no, this person would not be in existence if it wasn't for you. I don't know. It's like one, you don't get one without the other here. I feel like when you do meet this person, the two of you, maybe this is like inseparable energy here that I'm getting. Can you show me more here about uh, this connection between the man holding a coin and the woman holding a coin, please? The world. Okay. Show me more. Attachment. Let me get one more on this. <laughs> I'm just making sure fourth chakra, open your heart chakra, rest and rejuvenation, deceive. So this could be somebody from the past that you're stuck, that you're stuck and attached to, that you've moved on from. If this is the person from the past coming back towards you, for some of you all, this person could be a soulmate or a twin flame because this is, this is your divine masculine or your, or your divine feminine. And you do feel some sense of like attachment to this person whether it's emotional mental whatever it is for some of you all right you still you, you're still kind of mentally attached to this person whether you know it or not or whether you like to admit it the world card here it's like what are you gonna do you're gonna walk away you're gonna end this some of you guys are freeing yourselves show me more here about this connection I don't know. This energy of trusting your third eye chakra just came out. You really got it. And then the thinking man came out in reverse. So now we have the thinking woman here upright and the thinking man here in reverse. So the both of you all are kind of mirroring each other here. 
Yeah, you're marrying each other here. Action. So this thing, this man, this divine masculine is in his head too. Um, they're thinking about taking some form of action uh, towards you, but this person right now is like, for some of you all, they are like undecided, kind of wishy-washy about whether or not they're going to take action towards you because this action card came out crossing and the thinking man came out in reverse, okay? This, yeah, this person is trying to have the strength and the courage to take some form of action towards you. Look at that. What action do the, does this person want to take? Door to spirit. They want to. They want. I want to walk through this door towards this divine connection here. That's what they want to do. They want to take a new opportunity and walk through a door. Wow. Yep. They're trying to find the courage and the confidence to do this. Oh my goodness. Hostilities. I don't know what's going on here. Why? Why? Why somebody's hostile or upset? We'll come back to this connection because I feel like it's taking over the reading but because we're not done with talking about what else you can expect here I want to get some money messages for you and then we'll come back to this connection between you and this man holding a coin and the woman holding a coin because there's definitely giving some energy of fear it's giving energy of some form of attachment uh, something happened shocking and suddenly but someone here needs to trust their intuition uh, be in alignment with the third eye. Um, trust their discernment here. All right. Show me what, what can the collective expect? What can the collective expect here for the near future when it comes to money, career, stability? Hey, you guys, make sure especially during Mercury retrograde until it's over that you, number one, be careful about who you're sharing your ideas with, who you're sharing your work with, who you're sharing what you're working on when it comes to like your projects or something, because someone here may either A, be trying to steal some money from you um, or steal some form of idea from you. You cannot trust this person, okay? This person is like going to go behind your back and like say something was their idea, all right? There's some, but there is something coming in here that's perfect timing. Hmm. You see this energy here? Perfect timing. Everything coming in in the perfect time. Be careful about how you're spending your money, okay? Or loaning your money to people. Try not to make any big, big purchases right now until at least we're out of Mercury retrograde. If you have to purchase something, you guys, make sure it's like you read the contract with the fine tooth comb. Make sure you're getting something out of it that you need. Make sure it works for you. All right. Yep. Look, sign that damn contract. What did I just say? If you are signing some form of contract here, then you need to be making sure you're looking at things um, with a fine tooth comb. So, ooh, curse money and money blocks. So some of you guys, somebody here is either trying to block your money or they don't want you to have this form of idea here. Be careful. I'm telling you, don't don't tell your business. Do not tell somebody here. I'm telling you, if you let somebody, if it feels like it's a scam, it's probably if it feels too good to be true, then it is. Okay. I feel like some of you all are actually getting ready to to change your careers. You're moving in a totally different direction when it comes to your career. So you should do that. Now is the time for you guys to change your career path. If you're really looking to do that, you need to go ahead and do that. Just make sure you're reviewing contracts. Make sure you're keeping your your ideas to yourself. So if you're like thinking, oh, I have this brilliant business idea or I'm thinking I want to go start working in whatever sector, just give you an example. Say you work in the art, right? You're a creative writer or something, but you don't want to work in a, be a creative writer anymore. I know they're like still on a, a, a block right now, right? Not a block, but what do you call it? They're still on strike. There's a, still a writer strike, right? Say you want to like, okay, I want to be a personal trainer. Do it, but don't tell people how you plan to do that, right? Because that's your idea. Somebody here, I feel like it's low key sneaking you. Maybe you're feeling like certain things are haven't been working out for you. Remember, don't give up. It's time for you to detach from something old. Show me what what this, this what else is going on here for this career change. And these money blocks. Yeah, somebody here is going to betray you. 
Be careful. Somebody here is trying to, might be stabbing you in the back when it comes to some form of partnership or business deal. But again, trust your intuition. You're guided by spirit, okay? You're protected by spirit, but you have to make smart choices. Invest in stocks and invest in yourself. So instead of investing money into in time and effort and energy in other people, spirit is saying it's time for you to just invest in yourself. You don't need to be invested in nobody else but you. Because I feel like if you're invested in something else, somebody's just going to stab you in the back, you know, or this is, this is just like fraud or it's whatever it is. They're stealing something from you or stealing some form of idea. If you invest in yourself and you continue to stay focused and you're, you're getting, uh, paying off some financial karma, some financial debt, you have some form of abundance coming in with this cornucopia energy. Um, some of you guys could be seeing 11, 11 or 10, 10 here or four, four, four. All right. Um, what else do we have when it comes to money for the collective? Yeah, you have some form of a golden opportunity, I feel like, but this is not what you expect. See, this is something different than what you do now. Whatever this opportunity coming in for you, it's like you have the golden egg, you have the golden ticket, you have the bright idea, but just be careful who you're sharing this information with or this idea with. Everybody does not need to know your business, okay? I'm telling you, they just don't. Perfect time to invest into yourself. And make sure you're not overspending, you guys. I'm telling you, okay? All right. Let's move on from your money and see what this man holding a coin and woman holding a coin energy is for you. All right. All right. Show me this energy for this man holding a coin and this woman holding a coin. Hold on, I think I'm switching cards. Show me the energy between the man and the woman holding a coin, please, spirit guides. Mmm. Knight of Cups. Knight of Swords. Hmm. Somebody wants to communicate a love offer to you. This is somebody from the past. Yep. Whoever this person is, they want to communicate a love a love offer to you, and this is like another test for you. Are you going to take this past person back here? This person feels abandoned and left out in the cold here. They really want to take action towards you, but I feel like they're very conflicted. They miss you quite a bit. This person, for some of you all, there's no communication between the two of you. This person could be blocked or there's emotional or physical distance between the two of you. This person is suffering from this loss of... Um, you know, this distance, this person's suffering right now, okay? Um, let's see, the Ace of Cups, yep, this person, I'm telling you, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, this person wants to re reunite, what are you gonna do? It's up to you, you're an adult. Ace of Cups, let's see, maybe you have new love, they may, they may think you've moved on. The Wheel of Fortune and the Empress, oh honey, you moving on. <laughs> Listen, the Empress has been showing up in all these readings here lately. This person, is, it looks like to me, just to me, okay, every reader is different. But what I'm getting here is this person who's in this Five of Pentacles energy, they are in a Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords energy, right? They're hurt. They, they don't, I don't feel like they have a lot to give. Do they want to reconcile? Yes, they do. I feel like this Ace of Cups is new. Yes, it could be them wanting to reconcile also, but I feel like this is something new. You, This person may feel like you've moved on to new love with the Ace of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Empress being here. They see you. They know what your worth is, they do. Um, you are just like getting your good karma all over. Like I'm telling you, Three of Cups is on the bottom of the day. They definitely want to reunite with you. But for some of y'all, you may have, if you haven't moved on yet, either this person thinks that you moved on already with the Ace of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Empress, you're definitely about to get some form of new something. But I also feel like this energy has been coming out for quite a while. I feel like, you know, whatever this good luck is, the wheel is turning. The wheel is turning in your favor. Hello. You're about to receive some form of emotional fulfillment. You're going to be feeling confident. 
there's some change happening in your life. There's some new opportunity. There are some turning. There's a, a faded events getting ready to happen in your life. And I feel like there's another test from this other person who's going to want to come in and maybe fight for you, you know, because you walked away or they feel like you've moved on or something of that, This, you know, or this person may be upset with you if you decide not to move on from them. <sighs> Show me more about this person who's in Five of Pentacles energy, please. Yeah, they're undecided. Like I said earlier, Two of Pentacles. They're undecided about whether or not they're going to take this action. For some of you, they... Um, Show me more about this person who's in five of pentacles energy. Oh my gosh. Hold on. The emperor just fell on the floor. The emperor fell on the floor. Hmm. Definitely a divine masculine, divine feminine. So this is your divine person. Oh, boy. Show me more of this emperor's energy. This is definitely your person. You might be... Uh, look, there goes that damn five of wands. I'm telling you, this person's about to be upset with you or they're about to fight for you. This person's about to be jealous. <sighs> look at this. Is somebody juggling two people or you're going to be juggling two people here? I don't know. Or this emperor is going to be willing to come in and fight for you. Mm. Clarify the five of wands, please. Clarify the five of wands. Judgment in reverse. Oof. Scorpio energy here. Clarify the five of eight of wands. Yeah, this person wants to talk to you. Uh oh, what was that? The high priestess. What's the high priestess here for? All right, what was that? Six of cups. Show me the high priestess. Nine of cups. Trust your intuition. King of pentacles. There goes that king of pentacles again. You know what? This King of Pentacles Emperor energy here has a very strong intuition and they know your worth. They know your worth. They know your value. They've been, I feel like this person hid some things from you. For some of y'all, they could have had another situation here that they chose or whatever it is that they have going on. It's like a back and forth, a juggle. I don't know why. Um... But you're like a wish fulfillment to this king of pentacles. Okay? You're like a wish fulfillment for this person. Show me this king of pentacles energy, please. Show me the king of pentacles energy. Whoa. This person juggles... Yeah, that's what this is. Okay, hold on. Seven of Cups, yeah. Seven of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to tell you, this person had options, and I'm going to tell you why. I just clarified the King of Pentacles and look what came out. The Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. And guess what came out after that? Five of Cups, Ten of Swords. You see what I'm saying? This person is in regret over this betrayal. They were juggling. So the the moral of the story here is when this person comes back, trust your intuition. Are you going to pass the test? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Show me more here about this connection for the collective. Oh, man. Somebody is really upset with you here. The annoyed card is out here. This person, <laughs> they're... Yeah, look, somebody's pissed that you're not communicating with them. Separation. These cards is like, there might be some words exchanged between the two of y'all. Somebody might be cussing somebody out. They might be upset that you let them go. Yeah. 
This is crazy. Magnetic attraction, magnetic connection. Look at that. So you still feel drawn to this person or this person still feels drawn to you. Okay. Um, but also here, I feel like there's a new connection coming in for you in divine timing. So this is spirit again saying, just hang in there. Don't take this person back. Do not respond to the big, hey, what's up, big head text, you know, and that, that person may not even, you know, approach you like that. But I'm just using that as an example, right? Love letter. Partner. Yeah, be, this is spirit telling me you have a new person coming in. You have a new divine person and offer but you just have to hang in there yep hey okay i'm gonna show you this we have divine timing came out with love letter right i feel like this is a different person um uh, because you're purging and releasing uh, we have divine masculine and partner right and then we have independence i feel like this is spirit saying continue to be independent don't accept the stuff from the past back, right? Because you have um, a new person here that's coming in for you. Or this is you deciding that you're just going to stay single and not deal with this past person anymore. You get, you got your back turned to this past person. I, you guys are not going to take this person back. But they've been dreaming about you, though. For some of y'all, this is like a false twin flame. They, this person wants to communicate with you since you let them go. You see this cleanse energy and this communication energy here? Twin flame on the bottom of the deck, but this twin flame card was in reverse. Divine feminine. <laughs> oh boy, I tell you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What else do we have for the collective, please? Yeah, you and this person, there's something about money here. The two of you had some differences when it came to money. Y'all had too many differences here. You know what I'm getting here? I'm getting like with this values card. Look at this. You see how this person has money? They're looking in their wallet. They do have money in their wallet. But I feel like the two of you just share two different. You weren't on the same page. You had two different belief systems when it came to money or how you made your money or how much somebody might made how they how they made their money or something significant. This person may have disagreed with you with how you spent your money or how you made your money, but now it's like they understand. But back then they didn't understand. Y'all, back then you two of you were not on the same page. Yeah, now this person isn't happy the way things are going. They're not happy that you, you're not showing them any attention. I feel like this is you too. You weren't happy with it and you said goodbye. You did. Now this person is like, please, I want to tell you the truth. Will you please just listen to me? So this is giving confession energy here. I want to. They want to reveal something to you. What is this person? Yeah, they want to reveal to you how they are in, and they wish this never happened and how much they wish they hadn't juggled you. Um, show me what this person wants to reveal to the collector. Yeah, that they were given to somebody else. Reciprocity. I want equal give and take. This person regrets not giving you what you deserved or putting you in a second or, you know, third party or making you second instead of making you first or making you the number one priority. That's exactly what this is. Thank you, Spirit. Now this person wants to ask for forgiveness because they're struggling over their decisions. And they are, this person's hoping that it's not over and they're hoping that you haven't given up on them. You do have a soul contract with this person, by the way. You were supposed to learn some lessons from this person, but you are still supposed to be um, in space and giving yourself some space from this person. You are supposed to be in a, you're supposed to be in a re reflection period right now. I feel like this person at the time didn't take the necessary initiative to go through the judgment process because the judgment card came out in reverse earlier, right? This person did not reflect. Um, they didn't have clarity. They did whatever it is they wanted to do. And now they're being forced to reflect. 
And being because they are away from you, now they're being forced to reflect. And this person is stressed the hell out because it's draining them. Whoa. Alright, so are you going to pass this test? What you going to do, collective? Pass the test. You can do it. Stay strong. Stay strong. You can do it. Okay? <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Hit the like button.